Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see numerical based on causal and non-causal systems. So basically, we have a question like check whether the following systems are causal or not. Okay. So the system equation is given as y of n is equal to x of n minus x of n minus 2. So just by seeing also you can say this is what a causal system. How? Because this x of n minus 2 is which term? It's a past input term and x of n is what present input. So your output depends upon present input as well as past input. So you can say like okay it is a causal system but better to follow different approach in exam right. So you have to solve like suppose when n is equal to 0. So when n is equal to 0 so y of 0 is equal to what x of 0 minus means in place of n you have to keep 0 right x of 0 minus 2 means minus 2 fine so you can see from here that response at n is equal to 0 that is basically y of 0 depends on what it depends on present input present input x of 0 and and past input and past input x of minus 2 okay and take some more values for n so now I will go for when n is equal to 1 so y of 1 is equal to what x of x of 1 minus x of 1 minus 2 so this will become what x of 1 minus x of x of minus 1 right so from here also you can say like the response at n is equal to 1 that is y of 1 right depends upon the present input depends upon the present input x of 1 and past input x of minus 1 okay hope it is clear to you so from the above analysis this two part we can say that for any value of n the system output depends on present and past inputs right hence you can say like system is a causal system system is a causal system so hope it is clear to you now let's move to the next question so the given question is what y of n is equal to x of minus n right so how it is given the system equation is what y of n is equal to x of minus n right so suppose we have to check for n is equal to minus 2 so for n is equal to minus 2 y of minus 2 will become what x of 2 right now I am going to check for I am going to check for one second please so for n is equal to 0 right so if you check for n is equal to 0 
it will be what y of 0 is equal to x of 0. Now, I am checking for one more instance that is for n is equal to 2. So, for n is equal to 2, it will become what y of 2 is equal to x of minus 2. Okay. Fine. Now, from here, what is the conclusion? The conclusion if you see for negative values of n. So, if you see this part for negative value n is equal to minus 2, what you got? Your response depend upon x of 2 which is nothing but a future value of input, right? So, from here you can conclude like for negative, for negative values of n the output for negative values of n the output okay the output depends on future values of input depends on the future future values of input so if future came no need to check another thing directly you can say like system is what boss system is non causal system is non causal fine hope this much is clear to you right now let's move further and check for one more system equation so here we have x of n is equal to sorry y of n is equal to x of 3n so check for the same values like you did earlier right or you can go for the simple so so for n is equal to minus 2 i will check and i will check for n is equal to 0 and i will check for n is equal to 2 okay and i will give the conclusion based on these values fine fine okay so let's do this and check more so for n is equal to minus 2 so y of minus 2 is equal to what x of 3 n right so 3 into minus 2 x of minus 6 y of 0 will be x of 0 and y of 2 is equal to x of 3 into 2 6 okay so if you see here the positive value of n means at n is equal to 2 y of 2 is equal to what x of 6 so response at n is equal to 2 is dependent on the future value of the input right we are talking about n is equal to 2 but here we have to calculate you know x of n at n is equal to 6 to get the response so we are talking about the future values of input right so here if you see it will be what for a positive for a positive values of n the output the output depends depends on the future value of inputs depends on the future values of inputs clear so again you can say like the system is what a non causal system system is what non causal system now let's see the last example so given as y of n is equal to sine of x of n clear so for the same instances i will check so for n is equal to minus 2 i will check for n is equal to 0 we will check and one positive case for n is equal to 2 i will check 
so see the responses at this instant so y of minus 2 is equal to y of 0 is equal to y of 2 is equal to 1 so y of minus 2 will become is equal to sin of x of minus 2 if you go for y of 0 so it will be sin of x of 0 if you go for y of 2 it will be what sin of x of 2 right so if you see here for all values of n whether it is positive or whether it is negative value or whether you are at n is equal to 0 instant for all values of n the output depends on the present value of input the output depends upon the present value of input so if the output depends upon the present value of input present input so the system is what system is what boss so you can say system is a causal system so these many problems are enough for to check whether a system is causal or not so if you have any questions on this part you can ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you